Hello, welcome to Koji Geechee Gal. We're coming back one more time. And tonight I am going to be sharing with you some Gullah Geechee rice stir fry. And all that is is rice, sausage, cabbage, little bit of vegetables. And we are going to stir fry it with some seasoning and some butter. And you have your meat, your starch, your vegetable all in one dish. So I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up some celery. So I have my celery washed and clean. And all I'm going to do is just cut down just like that. Not big chunks or whatever, just nice thinly sliced celery. And we're going to use this to put in our rice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my carrots. I already uh, got, had my vegetable peeler and I already cleaned them. But I have this vegetable, vegetable peeler. All you have to do is just go down just like that and get all the brown parts off of the carrots. So that way you can have some nice clean carrots. I saw a little couple of pieces still left on there. And that's fine. We're going to just slide this off to the side there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut the tips off on each end. We're just going to cut them down evenly. Right about that. And then I'm going to cut them again. And just going to have nice little strips. So that it'll look nice in our rice. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting all of these up and then we'll come back. Now I'm going to cut my onions. As I said before, you get your chef knife. And for the onions, it's pretty simple. You just cut the ends off and then you cut down the middle just like that. Take all of the skin off so it'll be easy to cut. And here I go here, cutting it. Get all the trash off to the side. We can throw that away later. And you take it and just go down just like that. Easy as one, two, three. Okay, once you've done that side, you're gonna turn it, cut it on the other side. All right, now she wanna act up. And then just turn it down. And then since you have your chef knife, you wanna let the heel of the knife do the work. And all you gotta do is just go down, slice down. And all we're doing is we're dicing or chopping, I should say, our onion. Got that done. Okay, what we get ready to do now is we're getting ready to cut some cabbage. And I have a head of cabbage here. I have a very, very sharp knife. You must have a sharp knife, or if you don't have a sharp knife, you need to have something that can leverage the knife. So at home, what we would do is we would get like a can or a spoon. And once you put it in there, you would get the spoon and you would tap down see how it's going to tap it down but my knife is pretty sharp so i don't think i would need it but i have it just in case so what i'm going to do is once i cut it up i'm going to put it in my colander and i'm going to rinse it i'm going to cut my entire head of lettuce and then once i've washed it i'll put it all in here i put it in here because if i don't need all of the cabbage it's already cut i have it already done i'll just store it in the refrigerator and use it. I can use it tomorrow to make some fried cabbage. I can make stewed cabbage. I can do all of that. So we'll just go ahead and cut the cabbage right now, okay? First thing I wanna do is I wanna just exa examine my cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and cut down here and just to make sure that all, this, this is waste, okay? We don't wanna fry this because it's hard. And I'm going to just take these off because they gonna fall off anyway. And I'll cut this at a later time. But now we have like the, 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 the cabbage that's well put together. And I'm just going to get my knife. And I'm going to cut down, straight down, the cabbage head. Move this to the side. I'm just going to work one side at a time. Um, you can get the hard part, which is not a whole lot right here. And just kind of cut it out because that's trash. Turn it around like this. And because I'm putting it in a rice. I'm going to cut it one more time because I don't want the cabbage to be too much. I want it to be able to fit into each into our mouths. So I'm just going to just cut down about one inch, half inch slices, cut down just like that. And once I'm finished cutting it down just like this, I am going to turn it, cut it one time down, and there we go. That's one 
side of the cabbage already cut. These little parts that are loose, what you do is you make sure you gather them just like this. Easy thing is, get it, roll it. See how you roll it just like that? Now it's compacted and it won't be all over the place. Get your knife, cut down. Easy as one, two, three. Cut it right down. Then you can just turn your cutting board and do like how we did before. Just cut down. And your whole head of cabbage is done. Now I'm gonna take it to the sink. I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna examine it. I'm gonna make sure that there's nothing in it. So as I'm washing, I'm looking for dirt. I'm looking for little bugs because it grows in the ground. So you just never know what you'll get. So you always want to make sure you examine it. And I'm going to examine it again once I wash it. And when I put it in here, I'm going to be just kind of going through it just to make sure that there is nothing in the cabbage that I don't want to be in there. So I'll be right back after I come with some clean washed cabbage. So now I got the cabbage uh, nice and cleaned and rinsed and washed. So I just went through it just to make sure that everything was A-OK. -okay. See that little piece there? It just has a little bit of cabbage, but I don't like the way that looks, so I'm gonna throw it away. How about that? Throw it right on the way. So now we're gonna cut our turkey kibasso sausage. All I did is just got a piece of uh, some sausage from the grocery store, and all I'm gonna do is slice it down. So just to be easy, I'm just gonna cut it just like this, turn it the same way, and I'm just gonna cut it on an angle, okay? Everybody, just, I'm getting ready to put everything together. So what I have is I have a skillet here and I have it on and I am going to go ahead and put all of my vegetables in. I have some olive oil here and I'm going to put, oh, we got a little bit of water. I don't, wanna, I don't want it to splash everywhere. So I'm gonna put some olive oil, just some, maybe about two or three tablespoons. Put it down there to coat the pan so that everything can fry up nicely and saute up nicely. So I got that going. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to do the carrots because they, they're kind of hard. I'm gonna do the carrots. And I am going to do my celery. So I have this here. I'm going to put a little bit of lorry seasoning all in here. And I am going to put a little bit of onion powder. Go. Looking nice and pretty. This is my onions. And now we're going to cook our cabbage. So I'm going to just coat maybe about, maybe four, um, tablespoons of olive oil into our pan so that we can uh, fry our cabbage. So I'm just going to get, let's see, I think that's pretty good. And you don't even have to wash it out because everything's going to be incorporated back together anyway. I'm going to put that in there. So I think, I think this will probably be good right here for the cabbage and I'm going to cut the other part, this part right here in the um, refrigerator because I think this will be enough for what, we, what we're going to do today. We're going to cook this down, we're going to season it up, and with cabbage you want to make sure that you are turning the cabbage because cabbage will burn. We're frying the cabbage here. I want to keep turning just like I said because cabbage will burn quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a layer of seasoning. I got my Laurie seasoning salt. Put that in there. I'm going to put some black pepper. I'm going to put my onion powder. I'm going to put a little bit of crushed red pepper. Just for a little heat. I don't like too much, but just a little heat. Some of that good old slap your mama. Put that in there. And I will come back and I'll put garlic and stuff in there once I mix everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. I'm going to let it cook down a little bit and then we'll come back. I'm cooking the cabbage. What I'm, I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 
just a little bit of water to the cabbage. And then I'm gonna put the top on it just to let it steam because I don't want the cabbage to get too dark because with cabbage, it, it, it browns really, really fast. Now I'm getting ready to cut, cook my sausage. I'm just gonna do about a teaspoon of butter. I'm just gonna put it in my pan. And just like I said, you don't have to worry about the pan being spick and span clean because everything is gonna be incorporated. So I got my butter in here. I'm going to throw my sausage in. And because sausage is already cooked, I just wanna make sure that I get a nice little brown on it. I just want, I just want my sausage just a little bit, put a little bit of brown on it, okay? You know how we all want some hot dogs. We like some hot dogs that have that burnt on them. On the, like when we put it on the grill, I kind of like my sausage the same way. So I'm just going to let that sausage just sit there. And I'm going to let it just brown on, up on each side. And then once I'm done with that, then I'm going to incorporate everything in here along with my seasonings and more butter. And then that's going to be the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of garlic in here. Okay, that's about a half of, well, I'm gonna do like a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of garlic. And it smells so good. And I'm just gonna just allow it to uh, cook within the meat as it's browning. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. It smells so lovely. So I'm just gonna let it cook right there. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some rice in here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get the rice that's already pre-cooked. This is jasmine rice. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this rice in here. Right now I'm starting off with about half the pot. Again, this is three cups of water and that's two cups of rice. So I'm just going to make sure that everything is incorporated nicely. Got that going. I'm going to add my carrots, onion, and celery back in here. It's already looking pretty. Already looking, already looking colorful. But just like I said before, we eat with our eyes and we like to see how pretty things look. Got that going. Now we're going to add our cabbage into the dish. And when you add your cabbage, make sure you don't just dump it in there because you have a lot of, you know, cabbage holds a lot of water. So you don't want it to just, you don't want all that juice going in there to make your rice all soggy. So you just kind of put it in a little bit by little bit so that way you won't get all that juice in there. So I'll just put that off to the side, let that juice sit right where it's at. And I'm just going to mix everything together. I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning in it once I taste it up and see how it tastes. Maybe it may need a little bit more lorries, may need a little bit more salt, who knows. But once we uh, mix everything together, we take a little taste and then we see how we like it. Season it to taste. And I'll come back with the final dish. We have our Bella Geechee stir fry rice. So I'm gonna get a little bit of the Italian seasoning Add a little bit to the top, and then I'm going to get my green onions, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the top for more color and a little more flavor. And there we have it. Isn't that beautiful? Everything is nice and lovely. is so easy all it is is just an incorporation of things that you love rice who doesn't like turkey sausage cabbage a little bit of carrots onions celery mix it all together and you have some love in this dish look at that beautiful and lovely everything that you need in this dish and all we got to do now is throw a little bit of kool-aid on the side and we got our dinner for tonight so look, I want you to share. I would like for you to subscribe to my channel. Listen, we got a lot of time now. So look, we can just share, share, share. And we can be at home and we can cook, cook, cook. Thank you for watching Cool Jagichi Gal. And I appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye-bye.